Cloudflare Workers are probably the most influential piece of software released in the last three years. Yet, everybody talks about Vercel and all the new JavaScript frameworks, but not much is being said about Workers. Today, we will explain why this technology matters so much and how it impacts our transition towards faster website. We will also deploy our first worker right a bit later, so stick around. First of all, let's understand what they are about. Put it simply, workers are a JavaScript runtime, quite similar to serverless function, mostly meaning that Cloudflare runs the servers for you and you don't need to worry about scaling. The amazing breakthrough is that workers start much faster than a regular Node.js serverless function. This is possible by running this function inside V8 isolates. V8 is the engine that powers Node.js, but V8 isolates are different in that each of them is its own little kingdom that cannot talk to its neighbor. This allows Cloudflare to host thousands of these functions on top of a single server. The advantage of doing this is that with their worldwide server fleet, they are able to copy-paste these functions all around the world almost instantly. It should now become clear to you that this means a truly global application. In the traditional world of server-client applications, scaling globally is an enormous challenge that requires a lot of time and investment. While providers like AWS and Azure have been able to take a shot at this problem, their serverless offering suffers from a lot of bloat and have an average developer experience at best. This is why workers are truly a revolution in server deployments. They have paved the way to platforms that developers cherish truly and love, similar to Vercel and Dino Deploy. But how easy is it to build on Cloudflare workers? Let's give it a try. The first thing we want to do is to install a command line tool called Wrangler. It is available as an NPM package. With this done, we will call the Wrangler login command to authenticate into our Cloudflare account. Right after this is done, calling the init command will create a hello world repo and install all the dependencies you want and need for running the application. You even have the option of configuring TypeScript, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Lastly, deploying is also a pretty simple command and even cooler is the fact that it took me around 0.5 seconds to deploy my function even while tethering from my phone with low signal. The possibilities for workers are near endless. This is why whole platforms are now built on top of it. I have even discovered while researching this video that workers provide a scheduling system, allowing you to build cron jobs on top of it. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and please leave a subscribe for more content about Web3 and Frontend DevOps.